Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about binary search. So, what is binary search? It's a searching algorithm to find the index of a specific number. Let's say, for instance, if you can see on the screen, we've got an array of size 11. So remember it's size 11 because we start at index 0 and then we move to index 10. And if you count these, it's 0 to 10, it's 11 values. So we've got indexes from 0 to 10. And we are searching for a specific number in this array. And we want the index of that specific number. Now, binary search works very well if you need to search for a specific value very quickly and the array or the database whatever is very very big but there's a but the database or the array must be sorted before you can do binary search so if you look at this array that we have here we start with two five six seven nine up till 41 and you can see that the array is sorted. So binary search will not work correctly if the database or array is not sorted beforehand. Now, how does binary search work? It's actually quite simple. We first have the full array and we define the first index of the array as the low value and we define the last value in the array as the high value and then what we do is we take the indexes 10 for the high value and 0 we add them together and we divide it by 2 to get a middle value so now we've got a low and a high and a middle value so now what we do is we ask the question is the value that we are searching for equal to the middle value bigger than the middle value or smaller than the middle value now if we answer that question if it's bigger than the middle value if the value we are searching for is bigger than the value that's stored in the middle index then we move up the low value to the middle and we find a new middle so let's quickly visualize this so first of all we define low and i and middle so we've got low at index 0 i at index 10 and we are searching for the key 13 so 13 is located here so in a normal case with linear search we would have started at this one we compare 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 until we find number 13 but binary search works a little bit different so first we define low high and middle and then we ask the question is the search key bigger than the middle value so we ask is 12 or 13 we're searching for 13 is 13 bigger than 12 and if the answer is yes okay then we're gonna redefine the low value and make the low value now the middle and find a new middle so there's three questions either the search key is going to be bigger than the middle smaller than or equal to so our next step for finding number 13 so 13 is bigger than the middle value so we redefine the middle as low and we get a new middle value so now if you can see we've got 12 as our low value and 41 index 10 is still our high value but now how many indexes do we have one two three four five six and that's an even number so how do we get the middle of an even number so what we will do is we will define the low middle and i always as integers and if we say 10 plus 5 10 plus 5 gives you 15 and then we divide it with 2 we get seven and a half but because 
low, middle and high, the variables are integers, we're going to throw away that 0.5 and we will leave, be left with 7. So we will either have 7 or 8 as the middle value depending on your specific algorithm. So ours works with integers, so the middle will be at 7. So now we've got 5, index 5 as our low, index 10 as our high. And now we ask the question again. Is the search key bigger than the value in index 7? So is 13 bigger than 20? Is it bigger, is it smaller, or is it equal? So the answer is, it's smaller than 20. So what do we do now? So the first time around, the key was bigger than the middle. So we adjusted low up. Now the search key is smaller than middle. And now we adjust the high down. So what will happen? High will become the middle and we find a new middle. So we say five plus seven is five plus seven gives you 12. 12 divided by two gives you six. So the middle is now six. Okay. And then we ask the question, is the search key equal to the middle, bigger than the middle, or smaller than the middle? And if it's equal, we have found it. And that's the basic algorithm. So, the reason why we call it binary search is, depending on the size of the database or array, the number of um, searches that can be done will always be in a 2 to the power of 5 or 6 searches. Oh, um, 2 to the power of 6, the database size will be 2 to the power of 6 and we need only 6 comparisons, searches to get the specific value. Sorry for that. So, if the database is 2 to the power of 10, okay, and that's a little bit more than a thousand, 2 to the power of 10, the database is very big, but we only need 10 comparisons to find that specific search key in the database or the array, because what we do is we actually half the full database every time we say if it's bigger, equal or smaller than middle and we adjust high or low, we effectively half the database every time to make it smaller and smaller and smaller and effectively um, decreasing the amount of comparisons needed to find the search key. And if we compare binary search to linear search, Binary search is very, very effective to find specific values in a database or array very quickly. But we need to remember that the array or the database must be sorted beforehand. You cannot do binary search if the array is not sorted. So thanks, ladies and gentlemen. That is the basic theory of binary search. In the next lesson, we will talk about the actual implementation of binary search in C programming. And I will walk you through each step of the binary search algorithm implemented in C programming. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.